Hi and welcome to Themico. In this video, we will learn about one more method to estimate damping. This third method is called half power points method. At this point, you might say, come on, we already know two methods, why do we need a third one? Well, the previous methods are more reliable when using vibration measurements from a very accurate equipment. In this third case, the half power point method is also based on the frequency response function, or FRFs. Its application is pretty simple and requires less computation power and time than the curve fitting techniques. So let's go ahead and wrap up this topic of damping estimation with this nice method. Let's go back to the frequency response function plot. The plot gives a single peak amplitude at a resonance frequency as the system has a single degree of freedom. Let us focus on the magnitude only, the absolute positive value of the real and imaginary part of the FRF plot for now and zoom in around the peak region. From the resonance peak, we get the maximum amplitude. Then from the plot, we find the points where the amplitude is the maximum amplitude divided by the square root of 2. There will be two such points on either side of the resonance peak. These points are called half power points. Once those points are identified, we need to draw a vertical line straight down to the x-axis to obtain the frequencies at those two half power points. Let's name these points F1 and F2. Once we have these frequency values, we can estimate the damping coefficient by substituting F1 and F2 in the following equation. Zeta approximately equals F2 minus F1 divided by 2 times Fn, which equals delta F divided by 2 times Fn where fn is the frequency at the point of maximum magnitude. It should be noted that this method is valid for small values of damping. For example, if the damping ratio is less than 0.2, the damping value estimated by this method is going to be quite accurate. With this chapter, we finally wrapped up the methods for estimating damping. Thanks to this video, we now know some of the most quick and effective methods used to determine the damping ratio. Stay with us and you'll see that these topics become more and more interesting. See you soon.